we when we start to when we start to look at the ability to control, the ability to manage your own state of mind, um, you have to remember that that stuff, all of that mental voodoo, judo, you know, whatever you want to call it, stuff, is not for the good times. It's for the bad times, right? It's for the times when you actually need it, and this is one of those times. You know, I've been getting so many DMs, direct messages on Instagram and other places from people who are like, thank you for being positive. Thank you for showing us the other side. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know any way else to be. Like, this is why I do the exercises. This is why I focus on things I'm grateful for. This is why I look at things and see where is the opportunity. And, and believe me, there are opportunities right now, okay? Now, if you talk to the majority of people, you're not going to see them or hear about them, but they are there. And we're going to talk about what those are. Um, I would I would really encourage so many of you right now like focus on facts and what's actually going on all across the world um, and please for God's sake stop watching the news 24 7 okay uh, when you look at how many people are just tuning into the news on a regular basis look I'm not anti news like there's some facts you can get there but let's remember the news is not there to make you feel better the news is there to get ratings and you don't get ratings by making people feel better you get ratings uh, by sensationalizing okay so we've got to learn how to weed through what's real and what's not real um, you know just two days ago I was watching a report on the news and it was like uh, coronavirus you know uh, uh, is surging right and yet the truth is guys most people that are positive are already positive we just didn't have the tests to be able to test them so the fact that we're now getting more positive tests, everybody in the news and otherwise knows that that's not because there's more that are positive, it's because they're able to actually do more tests. So it's misleading is what I'm telling you, okay? So we need to be careful with where we're getting that information and what we're focused on, stick to the facts, you know, understand that this is real and that we need to be safe, it's safety first right now, um, but please don't just feed your head with nonstop you know, nonsense that is not there to make you feel good and is not there to help you control that state of mind, you know, in a, in a positive manner, which is, which, is, which is not happening. What we can't allow to happen right now is we can't allow a permanent mindset to set up shop uh, in your mind for something that is so temporary. You know, I, I said this, and this is temporary, guys, okay? I know it seems crazy right now and it seems big and it seems so real and long-term, but it's not, it's a blip. Like, like I said this on the live that I did last night, sometimes you have to view where you are and what you're going through like that when you're doing like video editing, where you've got that film strip and it's this big, but if you take that little scroll and move it, it enlarges it, okay? And all of a sudden that thing that took up this much space at first, now as it enlarges becomes this much space, right? Because when you view things from a bigger and a greater standpoint, from a different standpoint, you start to realize just how temporary whatever you're going through is, right? Um, and so I want you all to think about that as we're going through this. This is temporary. That's where your mentality should be. Do not allow a permanent mindset, a damaging mindset to set up shop in this thing, which is so important over something that is so temporary, okay? We will look back on this. We will tell stories about this, but we will not live in this for the rest of our lives. Please understand that, okay? Now, and for those of you, you know, yesterday on the live, everybody was like, why is this cup so big? I am talking like crazy right now, guys, doing trainings for, for companies all over the globe. And uh, that is a large thing of tea, okay, to try to keep my voice so I can keep doing this with you guys, okay? So as we start to talk about, you know, the fact that we don't want, uh, you know, permanent mentalities to set up in, a, in, a, uh, in our mind for something that's so temporary, we also, before I get into those seven things we need to be focused on, we need to understand right now where the opportunities are, okay? And there are absolute opportunities right now. And when I say opportunities, I mean big ones. Like, guys, start to think for a second. Like, look at what's going on right now. Um, I was already saying prior to this that, you know, when you look at um, retail, retail stores, which are being just pummeled right now because of Amazon and other things, you know, they're dying. Used to be you couldn't go to the mall in December, you know, but now you can because everybody's shopping online. And so we knew, and I was, I looked at all those retail stores and I used to say to my wife and I'd be like, you know, that's going to be a lot of commercial buildings. That's going to open up for, for companies like ours and others. And now when you look at what's going on with all these people working from home, not all, I mean, I'm still having my office come work in the office once this is all over. I like the community. I like people being here, right? 
But there are going to be owners and CEOs that are absolutely going to realize, oh, we can work virtually and I don't need to spend 12000 a month on a lease. And you're going to have a lot of places that are leasing properties now as a commercial business that are no longer going to be, okay? And that means all that retail space that's opening, which was going to come commercial, what do you think it's going to become now when commercial starts to decrease? It's going to become residential. And the one thing that, that isn't going down right now is the population, especially during this time, guys, you know, with everybody working home. But that's a story for another day. The population is going up, okay? And so that's an opportunity, guys. Apartments are going to be built. Condos are going to be built. Residential, it's coming, okay? So what I'm telling you is, before I get into these seven steps, don't panic. Please don't panic, right? Like, you do not make good decisions when you are in a place of panic. Okay. I talked to a friend of mine the other day and they had like almost 60% of their client base just backed out on a recurring revenue thing because people are panicking. Guys, now is not the time to panic. Tell me the last time you made a great decision when you were in a place of panic. Okay. I'll wait. It doesn't happen. All right. So let's talk about those seven things, guys. Do you have your notepads out? You got your phones, you're taking notes, you got your iPads, you got your computers. Do you have those things out? And I'll say this one more time, guys, hit that share button. Let's share this with as many people as we possibly can right now and get the word out because it's going to be some valuable information for them. And it's going to help you not only with your mentality, but also, you know, with your productivity, with what you're doing on a daily basis. So the first thing that we need to do, and this is so important right now, I am screaming this to all of our students and to just the, the masses at large. As a salesperson right now, you need to shift your mindset from that of a salesperson to that of a service first mentality, period. I am hearing coaches and speakers and everything else right now uh, talking to their audiences and telling them how to sell right now and telling them how to cold call and say the right things and go out to Fizbo's that are you know expired now because nobody's doing showings and they're, they're, they're teaching them this. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that is so freaking tone deaf. I can't even like, what are you thinking, okay? That is tone deaf. Right now is not the time to be thinking with a salesperson's mindset. And guys, you know me, for those of you that follow me, for those of you that are students of ours, for those of you that are whatever, I'm all about the sales, guys. I'm sales 101, right? But now is not the time. It is time right now in the short term to go from a sales mentality, a sales mindset, to that of a service first mentality. And do you know what this whole thing did, this whole quarantine and, and, and this lockdown across the world? It exposed just how client focused our calendars were. Guys, how many years have I been saying to you that if, you're, if your clients are dictating your calendar or your schedule, you don't have a schedule, right? It's about more than that. Our message to, to our students now has been about building all the other parts of the business. It's not just lead creation. And so this has exposed just how much of our calendars are just client, 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 because once we can't meet with the client, so many of us right now are lost at what to do, right? But we have an opportunity right now. And I know you've been hearing this on all sorts of broadcasts, but I'm gonna to try to do it a little bit different. We have an opportunity right now when it comes to our databases to absolutely revive our databases, okay? And, and you know, I, I talk about those stats all the time in the US where 89% of all buyers and sellers at the time of their closing said they'd use their agent again, but less than 11% actually do. And so we've been teaching lately the five-step process to follow up with the people that you work with because we know that the average lifetime value of a client is $117,000 if they used you over and over and over again. But so many of us work with those people, you know, we spend six months being their best friend, then they close and we lose contact. We don't call them, we don't talk to them, we don't anything. And whose fault is that? It's ours. And a lot of you aren't following your five-step follow-up or getting back in touch with them because you don't know what to say. It's an awkward conversation. It's been four years. Hey, know anybody looking to buy or sell? Like, it's very awkward, right? So when we look at those five steps, and this isn't a training on those five steps, but the steps we teach people are, you create expectation of what the next touch is going to be so they know what you're gonna be reaching out for next. Step two, you execute on that expectation. You follow through with what you said. Step three, uh, you create a new expectation. So once you uh, contact them, now you're gonna create another expectation for what the next touch should be. Number four, you ask for the business. Hey, I promised my family I was gonna help 50 other families in the next 12 months so I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't ask anyone I should be talking to. That's step four. This isn't a training on the five steps, guys. Step five, 
uh, ultimately now you close with the new expectation. Hey, can't wait to hear about so-and-so, you know, blah, blah, whatever, right? Now, to get those five steps up and going now, you have an opportunity because right now you could be like reviving your whole database, reaching out to every single person in your database, coming from a service first mentality. No calling them saying, hey, are you still thinking of doing anything this spring? It's a very simple contact, guys. Hey, how are you? Is there anything I can do to help? We, 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 uh, last week I did a, a CRM and systems training that a lot of you can still get. It's on our, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys go, one of my team can put it in there, connect with jared.com, connect with jared.com. You can, you can find all the social profiles, ton of free stuff guys. But if you go to my YouTube channel, we did a training where we talked about one of the strategies I talked about with your CRM with systems was mass texting. And I said, look, now's the time to be sending out a mass text, okay? Not a mass email, because they'll end up in spam. You won't get everybody. A mass text that says, hey, how are you guys? Is there anything I can do to help? So a lot of our students started doing that, and uh, they started sending me messages. They couldn't believe the response from people they hadn't heard from in years. Just going, we're good. Thanks so much for checking in. Like, now is the time to do that. Uh, in our Facebook group, Jared James Coaching, one of our coaches, Sean Anen, posted a tool he uses. I forget what it's called, Reach or something like that. Did a very similar thing. And getting responses from people at scale that they hadn't talked to in forever. Now is the time right now, guys, to be doing, to be scaling the things that are unscalable. You know that I teach all the time about doing scalable things, right? Right now is not that time. It is time to be doing the unscalable while you have the time to do it one by one by one by one, interacting with people back and forth, taking a defibrillator to that database, those people that you've forgotten about, that you haven't stayed in touch with, you've been too busy to be productive, too busy to stay in and just boom, clear, boom, revive that database. It is an amazing opportunity right now, especially if you come from a, a, a place of uh, contribution where you're going to be looking at them and saying, what can I do to help right now? That is all that matters, right? Uh, second thing we can do, this is number two, guys. We need to be a visible leader in our marketplace. Visible, okay? Leaders do not hide. Let's be very clear about that. So let me show you some specific examples of how you can do that, okay? I'm going to screen share here, guys. Hopefully this works out. Uh, I'm going to screen share. Uh, Okay, we got that. Guys, do me a favor. If you are watching right now on Facebook, hit like or leave a comment and say yes, that you can see. Uh, this, is an inst this is obviously my Instagram page here. I guess this was open here. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, some examples of what we can be doing, okay? I'm looking at the live stream here to make sure that this is working for you guys. I think I just saw some likes pop up. Awesome. Looks awesome. Looks like it's working. All right, so let's do this real quick. So here's some very tangible things you can do, okay? If you go into... Uh, uh, you, you can all join this. It's free. If you go to our coaching group, Jared James Coaching, okay? You'll have to go join that, Jared James Coaching. Let me give you guys some examples of what we're teaching people to do right now that work incredibly, okay? What you need to be doing right now to be a visible leader in your marketplace is you need to be creating groups based around the community where you are the source. There's no call to action, no anything, but you're the source. You're visible, Remember guys, I teach visibility trumps ability. How many times have you heard me say that? Visibility trumps ability, right? And so you need to be going in and creating groups like so many of our students have. I mean, take a look at this. Let me see if I can find it here. Let me pull up Alex, one of our coaches, who his student, Ben, here's an example. So check this out, guys. So this started, uh, uh, one of our coaches, Paco did it. One of our um, uh, students, Kylie did this. And they started groups where they literally created Facebook groups locally. Um, I believe Paco started one called Riverside Area Food to Go While in Lockdown. And they started creating Facebook groups specifically for the restaurants that are doing takeout. They're reaching out to each and every one of them, being a resource and saying, hey, what hours are you open? Can I get a copy of your menu? Uh, uh, do you have any deals running? Do you have any whatever? And they're creating groups just around this so that people locally can join and know who who's open, who's not, what's their menu, any kind of deals, what are their hours, and they're being the source to create it. This is the time to do it. One of our students, Ben Meyer, did this, and within two days had over 11,000 people join the group locally. You don't think that's powerful? From what I've heard, I think it even went up to almost double that right now. And it's super easy to do, guys. Literally, you're in Facebook and you go, create, group. There you go. 
And then you start spreading the word and you start personally reaching out, do the unscalable, right? Let's look at uh, some of the things that some of our other people have done, okay? Now's a great time. It's our coaches group. Here's Owen Paveda, one of our coaches. And he created a group called East Tennessee Now Hiring, okay? You should be creating a separate group just like this. While people are unemployed, while they're worried, there are still companies that are hiring. Create the group locally where people can post their jobs, what they're looking for, where people can show, uh, post what they're looking for in a job, and you're the source. Because when you have a group, what you're able to do, let me just pull this up real quick, is that every time people join, you are able to go over here, write a post, it'll tag all the new people, and you're able to welcome everybody. Look, if I were to hit right now, so look, if I go like this, and I say, do, 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 do. we'll just say approve all. Okay, looks like we've got a lot here, guys. Uh, so if I say approve all, and then I jump over here, and I say here's 40 new members, write post, it's going to tag all of them. And now I can write whatever message I wanna write up here, you know, telling them what this is about, telling them who I am and why I did this. I'm a local realtor in the area and here's why I'm doing this. Uh, they can friend me, they can, they can request me, they can, you know, whatever they wanna do. And it is an amazing opportunity right now for you to come from a place. By the way, that one I showed you with Ben, they put them on the news and everything because you've gotta think like this. While everyone else is bunkering down, you need to be a leader. And this is what leaders do. They do stuff like this right now, okay? This will make you the source. This will make you visible to all these people. And guys, when the sun comes back out, and every, and because I told you this is temporary, when the sun comes out and they say businesses are open, do you know who they're gonna remember? You are now visible to more people than you could have paid to get in front of because you helped the community and you set up a place and you were the source. And that is one of the most powerful things you can do right now, okay? So number two, you need to be a visible leader in your marketplace. Number three, if you're taking notes, guys, number one was shift your mindset from a sales mindset to a service mindset. You got that? That was number one. Uh, number two was be a visible uh, uh, leader in your marketplace. And number three, and extremely important, guys, prepare for the surge. If I know one thing in this world, guys, a surge is coming. Everything we saw prior to this lockdown, prior to this quarantine, prior to whatever, was record numbers, okay? Not only record numbers, but record low interest rates, record low. Those people are going to come back around right now, okay? So when I say prepare for the surge, you need to understand right now in this time of rest or in this time of working from home that what we learned is that the economy is no longer just in a normal whatever, it has become a tech economy, okay? And businesses were exposed that were not functioning in the way they needed to be functioning for today's world, okay? If you were in real estate and you were still keeping your files in manila folders and having to run back and forth to the office, you were exposed right now, okay? Now it's no longer an option to be tech enabled. You have to be tech enabled. Guys, look at that, look at that 007 movie, right? Like that was supposed to release uh, the James Bond 007. They had to back it off till November after spending hundreds of millions of dollars. Do you know that if they just would have tracked with the times and been progressive and instead released that movie on Netflix or on Amazon Prime or one of those things, they wouldn't have had to back it off and they probably would have sold four times as much uh, uh, many tickets or many buys than they would have because everybody's at home. But they are waiting, waiting, waiting until it's too late to finally come to grips with where technology is at today and you can't do that, okay? So this time right now, when I say prepare for the surge, guys, it is coming and you're either gonna be ready or not. The reason why I did that systems training and I recommend you all go check it out. Uh, the reason I did that systems training, it's up on YouTube, is because now is the time when a lot of us are being exposed for the fact that we, although we like to hear about it, we're running around more than we were running a business, okay? A business has systems, has processes, is tech enabled, is whatever, and you now have that opportunity to do the boring work behind the scenes. I, I like to tell people the number one mistake people make in real estate is that they don't understand that it's boats before fishing. Everyone, when they get into real estate or they've been here for 10 years, wants to lead, create, lead, create, lead, create. Jared, how do I create leads? Jared, how do I whatever? Nobody talks about the fact that if you want to create leads, if you want to go fishing, 
You have to have a boat first, right? That is infrastructure. You can't go shark fishing with a canoe, right? So if you want to have a lot of leads, a lot of different types of leads, and you want them to be effective, if you want to go catch a lot of fish, you got to have a bigger boat. Now is the time to focus on that. I call it the 1%, 99% rule. And any of you that have heard me do an event, a live event in the last three or four months, you've heard me talk about this. I call it the 1%, 99% rule. And here's what that rule is. The thing that you're known for, the thing that you're most known for is usually about 1% of your life in reality. You know, when I go places, they're like, oh, there's Jared. He's the speaker. He's the, tra he's the trainer. He's the whatever, right? Guys, I spend less than 1% of my life on a stage. I spend more time being daddy than I do being speaker. And you all think of me as speaker. But what makes me worthy of that 1% title of speaker is the 99% boring, non-sexy, non-insta-worthy crap that I do behind the scenes that you never see. The fact that I prepare like I do, I study content like I do, I work on our systems and processes behind the scenes like I do, is what makes me worthy of that 1% title. You wanna be known as a top producer in your area moving forward when this is all done. And by the way, a lot of agents are gonna drop off. You're not gonna lose listings to you know, somebody's grandkid anymore who has their license on the side. If you wanna be known as a top producer in your area, a local leader, a, a top team, if you wanna be known for that, I promise you, even if you become it, less than 1% of your time will be spent at a closing table, right? What's gonna make you worthy of that top 1%, that top producer label, is gonna be the 99% of boring crap you do behind the scenes, non-sexy that nobody sees, that ultimately makes you worthy of that title. I am telling you guys right now, you have an opportunity right now to spend the time daily doing the 99% boring behind the scenes crap that is gonna get you ready for the surge. Because when it comes, it's coming with a flurry. And some people are gonna be ready and some aren't. Just like right now, the NBA season is in lockdown and they've been suspended, right? And they suspended that season right before the playoffs. Guys, mark my words, what's going to happen? They're talking about bringing that season back right before the playoffs and playing it this summer. The problem is what I've been seeing on Instagram and other places is that so many of those players that were, you know, top three seeds in the league and all this other kind of stuff, so many of those players right now, do you know what they're doing every day? They're not preparing to come back. They're sitting on a couch gaming every day. They're just playing games, playing on Instagram, doing whatever, and mark my words, they're gonna bring the season back. And some of those top seeds that were better teams when they left are now gonna get beat because their stars are out of shape. I'm telling you metaphorically from a real estate perspective, do not get out of shape. Build your systems and your infrastructure behind the scenes. Do the 99% boring crap. For those of you right now on here that are students of ours, get with your coach and do the boring crap because a business is about more than lead creation. It's about building the boat as well. And if you don't have a big boat, you can't catch as many fish. And I'm telling you guys, the fish are coming. The surge is coming. All the data is there that that surge is coming, okay? When you understand how money works, look at how the stock markets have dropped drastically, right? All over the world. When you understand money, money isn't just spent and then it's gone. Money does nothing more than move from one place to another. So when it moves somewhere, it has to then go somewhere else. It has to go somewhere else. So when you see the market dropping like it has, that's because people pulled their money out, okay? What do you think people are going to do with that money? Do you think they haven't looked at it and went, hmm, real estate doesn't drop 25% in a day. Maybe that's a better investment. And all of that money that was pulled out of the stock market is gonna have to be put somewhere and invested somewhere. And a lot of that is gonna go into real estate. And you're either gonna be ready for the surge or you're not. 1%, 99% rule, guys. 1%, 99% rule. Are you ready or not? Are you willing to do the boring crap behind the scenes that makes you worthy of the 1%? That's what you have to be asking yourself, okay? Number four. Number four thing we need to do. You need to create content like never before. Have you guys noticed I've been doing a lot of this lately? Have you noticed I'm going live again later at 4 p.m. Eastern with my office? Have you noticed I'm going live every single day uh, with different CEOs and different, have you noticed I've been posting like crazy on Instagram? Have you noticed I've been, I'm asking you to do exactly what I'm doing, okay? Content right now is more important than ever. 
What I'm telling you is that that camera you bought, that lighting you bought to make yourself feel good because you knew you needed to create content, but it made you feel better to be in process than to actually be doing it. You need to pull that crap out now and start creating content. People want a break from the news, okay? And, and, and they need to be able to go to their news feed. I mean, guys, look at this right now, right? Like I'm on here right now. We're at like a thousand people on here right now because everyone's on Facebook. Everybody's on, on these places, right? You have an opportunity right now to be creating content. Our coach, Kelly Weber, just did a training in our Facebook group. If you join that Facebook group, Jared James Coaching, she did a training on what she's doing and how, what she's doing. She's doing Facebook Lives every day about her local marketplace and bringing on people. You should be bringing on the superintendent and talking to them, bringing on the mayor, bringing on local restaurants, bringing on, you need to be the source. All content doesn't need to come from you, but it needs to come. And right now is the time where you need to get ahead of what's coming. Because I'm telling you right now, the economy is going to take a downshift just because numbers, unemployment rates, you know, everything got hit pause, right? And the media and everybody else is going to follow that and they're going to sensationalize it. Look how bad things are. We all know it's not because it's bad. It's coming right back. It's because we came off of this pause where the whole country, the whole world paused. You need to get out in front of it now and start creating content and letting people know what's going to come out what stats are gonna come out, but here's what they really mean. And then here's what the GDP is gonna do in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Don't pay attention to those naysayers. You need to be the one putting out content and giving people an option of who to follow and who to look to and who to be led by. And I'm telling you right now, guys, so help me God, there is a land grab right now happening, okay? In your local marketplace, and like in the old days where they'd throw a flag on a country and that was now my country, there is a land grab going on in your local marketplace. And everyone is going to figure out who the leader in the real estate space is. And you're either going to plant your flag and be putting it out there as loud as you can, or you're going to follow someone else who does. Okay. It's not an accident that I'm putting out as much as I am right now. And that we're gaining the number of followers every day and our database is exploding and everything else, because I understand right now, that there is an absolute land grab, okay? You need to have, by the way, here's a very practical piece of advice. So many mortgage companies and banks right now um, are, are um, they're giving relief, right? And it's different for every bank. So like you should have a page on your website that lists all the majors that people use in your area and what the relief package is. That way you can do content, direct them to your site, a page on your site, where they can go get the information that's readily available to them, but you're going to put it all in one place to make it easy for them because you're the source. You're visible. You, you are coming from a place of service, not a place of sales. That's where you need to be right now. And I'm telling you guys, if you'll listen to me on this right now, some of your businesses are going to take a little dip right now, but when you look at where you'll be at the end of the year, if you can take advantage of that surge, it's going to be an amazing year for you, but you've got to do the 1%, 99%. You've got to create the content. You've got to plant the flag in the ground and say, I am the local leader. Right now, you find out who leaders are, okay? Uh, somebody asked me recently, I won't, I won't say who it was, um, but they are a CEO of a major company, and they said, Jared, why do you think we have to tell people this? Why do you think that you know, everybody just doesn't think like this or whatever? And I said, man, if everybody was a leader you know, there'd be no such thing as a leader because leaders require followers, right? A leader with no followers is probably just a jerk, right? So you need to decide right now who you are in your marketplace during not the good times, during the difficult times because now is when leaders lead. Now is when leaders step up. So, so when you guys send me these messages and these DMs and you say things to me and you're like, Jared, how can you be so positive right now? And how can you be, because I don't know any other way to be. I'm a leader, right? So what are you? Who are you? And it's time for a lot of us to out ourselves and say, I'm a leader or I'm not. Start creating content, okay? Now, number five, the fifth thing that we need to be doing right now. Now, you guys are going to not like this one and you're probably going to ignore it. I hope not. Um, but you need to use this as a wake-up call right now to get physically fit, okay? I'm not saying I got a lot of jokes yesterday because I used this example that you need to look like a Baywatch model, right? There are overweight people that are in better shape than thin people. That is not what I'm talking about. I am talking about we are in an industry 
where it's a roller coaster, guys, and it comes with a lot of stress. And if you saw the numbers on the amount of disease that people get that was completely preventable, if they were just exercising, giving themselves a stress relief, you know, whatever, you would start exercising. You need it in this industry. You need it while you've got this time at home. You need to demonstrate it for the people around you, your children or whoever it is. It is necessary, especially when we're talking about a virus that goes after people with, you know, compromised immune systems, you know, compromised immune systems, that's stress. Stress leads to a compromised immune system, right? I, I used to, you know, I joke around, a lot of you follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook, and I do the hashtag, did you sweat today, right? And I joke around a lot when I'm in front of live audiences and I tell people, they're like, well, why do you do that? And I tell them, well, it's because I, um, I wanna still dominate my kids when they're in high school. And th there's a lot of truth in that, guys. That's not a lie, right? Um, but you know, one of the real reasons that I do it, it it's because uh, years ago, I had a dream. And in this dream, um, I got a disease that was completely preventable, okay? And in that moment, in that dream, I would have done anything to go back and change anything to not have the disease, right? I would have given a, a right arm, a left arm, I would have, but it was too late, right? I, I didn't prevent. So then I wake up from the dream and I realize it was just a dream, maybe a nightmare. And I realize that I have a chance, you know, that I can ultimately live like I would have before the diagnosis, before I had that dream. And I made a decision that day that I was going to live like that from now on. And that is why, guys, I do Did You Sweat Today? And I make sure to sweat every day because I live a stressful life. I, I run two major companies. I need, that's when I think. That's, that's when I get my metabolism going. That's when I stress relief. That's when I, how do you think I stay healthy traveling from place to place to place to place and dealing with so many people? And it's all part of it. You need it. It's not about looking like a Baywatch model once again. It's about having that stress relief and about taking care of yourself and having the inner narrative that says, I deserve something because I'm disciplined and I do this. And now is the time to do that because how would you live if you had a chance before you got the preventable disease, if you had a chance to go back. That's how I live. Uh, and I'd like to think that every one of you would act the exact same way given the chance, okay? So let's use this time to get physically fit. Number six, we need to think different, guys. Think different. Leaders don't swim the same direction as everyone. They swim in opposite directions, okay? And if not, they're not leaders, okay? We're smart. We're safe. It's safety first. We're paying attention. I'm watching all the facts of what's going on. I've got my offices working from home. I've got the whole thing. But leaders think different. They don't get their marching orders from everybody else on how to think. Okay. So when I say think different, and I'm talking about looking for opportunities, you need to right now be, look, if you've got extra money, I'm not going to tell you what to invest in. I'm investing in the stock market like crazy. Okay. Warren Buffett, when everybody buys, you sell. When everybody sells, you buy. It is a, it is an, you, you could literally pick any stock and it's going to be up eventually. Like it's, it's the stock market works off of emotion. So the drop is about emotion, not because those companies were doing terribly. Okay. So think different. Don't hide in a corner, invest right now. If you've got trips coming up in the next year, buy your flights now. They're like a third or a fourth of the cost of what they were three weeks ago. For, all, for so many of you coming to the advance in October, our yearly event, the 2020 Jared James Advance in October in Nashville, you need to go buy your flights now because they're super cheap, okay? We're doing the same thing for our company. I'm looking at all trips I've got coming up. Like, buy, think different, guys. Leaders lead. And last but not least, guys, number seven. And, and I want to preface number seven here by saying, look, you guys know me. I'm not a cornball. I'm not some corny, you know, whatever, but I really want to get this across to you right now. Number seven is super important. And number seven is this. You need to remember right now in this moment that you were born enough. Not you are enough. You were born enough. We, we are in trying times. Uh, we are in unprecedented times right now. And when you look at what's going on, and, 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 and everything that we're looking at right now, and, and you feel uncertain about yourself and what to do and, and everything else, I want you to remember something. If you're listening to me right now and you're in real estate, you made a decision to go against the grain when everybody else was taking salaries and, and getting healthcare and getting, 
and you knew that you were born and created different and that you had different needs and you had whatever. And if you had the gall to go and say, I'm going to take that path, nothing is guaranteed. I always feel insecure. I always wonder, will another transaction happen? I always whatever. And yet you made the decision to follow that path and be that brave. You were born enough for this situation right now. I was watching, um, this is kind of a you know, weird story, but I was watching American Idol the other night with my, with my wife and kids. And um, uh, mainly because it's one of the few things we can watch and we don't have to worry about a sex scene popping up. It'd be really weird if that happened on American Idol. And so we're watching American Idol and we're watching this kid who's just ridiculously talented. And I'm like, my God, if I had his talent, I'd be touring arenas all over the world. But he just keeps sabotaging himself because he's so uncertain about himself. And he just keeps doubting himself and he keeps screwing up because he's just not, I don't know if I'm enough. I don't know if I'm good enough. Everybody here is good. And, and it's frustrating to the judges. And finally he goes up and kind of screws up. And Lionel Richie, you never thought I'd be bringing up Lionel Richie on here, right? Lionel Richie looks at him and he says, kid, let me tell you something. He said, he said you have more talent than everybody sitting here as a judge, okay? but you're gonna sabotage it because you're freaking out and you're worrying and whatever. And he goes, I need to tell you something and you need to know this, you were born enough. Like that talent you have is ridiculous. Don't sabotage it, right? And so my message to so many of you right now is very clear, guys. If you got into this business and, and when there were so many other options and everything else, you need to remember that you were born enough. And, and, and to, to doubt that is to disrespect the inner talent, the inner gifts that you have inside of you, and, and, and remember that you were born for such a time as this, okay? The reason why I stay so calm and so like just confident during this time frame right now is because I know that everybody is playing on the same board, okay? I put something on Instagram recently and I said, hey, the, the game of life is a chessboard and you can't act like a pawn and then expect to rule like a king or a queen. Okay. And what I'm telling you right now is there's some heavy chess going on right now in life, in, in the business world, in the market, in the world overall. But here's the good news. We're all playing on the same board. We're all playing with the same rules. We're all going through the same thing. And ultimately, you and everyone around you is now going to find out whether you're a pawn, you're a rook, you're a king, you're a queen. But kings and queens make kings and queen moves. They don't make pawn moves, okay? And so the reason I stay calm and I know is because I know everybody's up against the same thing. And the, and the ultimate equalizer is that we're all playing the same game. But I know that I was born enough and I was made for a time like this. And some of you need to start telling yourself that right now, that you were born enough. You were made for this. This is temporary. I will not allow a permanent mindset to set up in my mind for something that is so permanent but I am going to dominate during this time. I'm going to serve like I've never served before. I'm gonna create content like I've never created content before. And I'm gonna come out of this ready for the surge because I was born enough and I was born for this time. You need to start telling yourself that. That is my message to you guys today, okay? Guys, with that being said, uh, I am going to answer your questions. I'm going to try because I think there's a lot of comments in there. If you have questions right now, post them in the group. I'll hang out here for as long as you guys want me to. And then this will replay on my profile. So make sure you share this with people. If you enjoyed this today, guys, like I said, don't just hit like, don't just leave a comment, hit share. I want you to share this out with your people. I think it's a message that so many people need to hear. If you enjoyed it, hit like, leave a comment there, guys. Um, but I think this was important, okay? I'm going to be back on here. The same place, Facebook Live, 4 p.m. Eastern in three hours and 15 minutes with my office mates. And we're going to have some lighthearted fun. We're going to have a beverage and just chat and, and hope that you guys join in and do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to go look at the comments here. Amazing how many of you are here right now, by the way, guys. Uh, I freaking love it. You guys are so cool. Uh, I may be on a bit of a delay right now, so I don't know if I'll see the questions or not. I may need to hop off of this and then eventually just... Um, you know, pop back in and try to answer as many as I possibly can. Someone said number six again. Number six is think different, okay? Let me go through them again, okay? The seven, very simply. Number one is shift your mindset. This is a very important one, guys. Shift your mindset from a sales perspective to a service-driven perspective, okay? 
Number two is be a visible leader in your marketplace. Create those Facebook groups. You can go join ours, Jared James Coaching, and you can see the kind of stuff that uh, people are doing. And you can rip it, take it, and do it for yourself. Number three is prepare for the surge. The 1%, 99% rule, right? The thing that you're known for is generally 1% of your real life. But what makes you worthy of it is the 99% of what you do behind the scenes that is not Insta-worthy, not sexy, not whatever, but it's what makes you worthy of what people know you for. Number four is create content like never before. There is a land grab going on right now, guys, and you're either going to be the local leader or you're not, but we will know right now right now based on how you act. Number five is use this time to get physically fit. Sweat. I'm going to go for a run later today. Get physically fit. Number six, think different. Swim upstream, okay? Invest right now. Buy your tickets to wherever you're going. Think different. Number seven, you were born enough, period, okay? How do I send mass text messages? Uh, you can do them through our CRM. You can do them through most CRMs. Um, but if you go into our Facebook group, I think there was an app that was mentioned there, something called Reach or something like that. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways to do it. A lot of these questions, guys, post them in the Facebook group. I always say the smartest person in the room is always the room, okay? So you want to get in there and, and uh, uh, make sure that you're actually, you know, putting it out there so that agents all over the world can give you their input because the smartest person is always the room, okay? Um, guys, I'm going to end because these are good. I'm going to answer all your questions. Keep posting them in the comments, guys. I appreciate you being on here. Make sure you go, guys, real quick. Let me put it here. Um, Go to connectwithjared.com, connectwithjared.com, connect on Instagram and uh, fan page and Snapchat and YouTube especially and TikTok and all these places. But make sure you get over, like that uh, photo I just put up on Instagram there. Uh, leave a comment there, guys. Let me know you're in here. It's always nice to know who was actually in here. It's easier for me to do that on Instagram. So at Jared James today, or just go to connectwithjared.com and do it that way. Uh, guys, you rock. I will get to these questions all day today. I appreciate you guys like you don't even understand. Uh, thanks for being on. Share this right now so that other people can get a chance to really take in this information. Just hit that share button. Uh, you guys rock. We're going to get through this together. Uh, this will be a blip on the radar, uh, but we're going to get through it together, guys. Love you. I'll talk to you soon.